Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do unit tests in React application. We're going to use Vtest, which is a testing framework, and then we're going to generate React application with Vt. So this is basically the like a template that we are going to testing out. This is just really simple to do app. Let me show you right here. Right, I'm going to put the code on the description, so just download that. As you can see right here, just really simple. I'm going to open the app.tsx. As you can see, this is just uh, some heading one and then a div and then just to do list right here. Uh, just don't really care about this data test ID. We are going to back to explain this later. And then as you can see on the component and then to do list right here, this is basically all you see right here, right on the card right here. All right, so let's take a look. We have just one input and one button right here. If I click that button, it's running the add to do function, which is this function right here. When I click that, it will adding the new to do on the to do's state right here. And basically the to do's is just mapped through on this list right here. So if I just say um, to do one, for example, if I click add to do, as you can see, we have to do one. If I do to do two, we have also to do two on, on the list, right? Just really simple to do app. And then, yeah, let's try to testing out. All right, so the first step we need to do is let's install a VTest. So let's click get started. And then I'm going to copy this command, go back to the terminal. And then let's just paste that right here. npm install as a dev dependency VTest. Okay, after we install that, I just want to follow along the really simple example right here on the documentation. As you can see, uh, we are going to just copy this one. I'm going to create a file called let's do sum.ts. Just paste that right here. Because we're using TypeScript, of course, with these uh, props right here, I'm going to specify the A should be number and also the B, it also should be a number. And as you can see, this is just a really simple function that return A plus B. All right, to create the unit test, it's pretty simple. As you can see, we need to create function called sum.test.ts in this case, right? So let's do in here, dot ts. And then I just want to copy and paste everything in here. So now let's try to run the unit test. As you can see on the documentation, we need to just putting this test on the script so you can run npm run test. So let's go to package.json file and then we need to add this test on the script. Right, and then now we can do npm run test just like that. And now, of course, everything it should be base. As you can see right here, add one plus two to equal three because on the sum.test right here, we create a test function, right? And then we give it name add one plus two to equal three. So basically, unit test is just simple as we have expectation of something, right? In this case, we have expectation of this sum function to be three, and that's it, right? So as you can see on the sum right here, we have two props, right? A and B, and we basically send one and two, and we expectation this function it should be returning three, right? That's the unit test. This testing right here is useful, for example, if you're working with big project with a lot of teams and for example your friend accidentally changed the function for example plus one right here and then when your friend save the code of course he will get this failed error right because we have expectation this function is it should be returning three that's the beauty about unit test so now let's working with the uh, to do app because it's kind of like different if you want to just testing really simple function like this with you testing react application because we need to have kind of like a dom element something like that so let's just working with that so first let's go to feed.config right here so we need to add test key and then as you can see the environment that i'm going to use is happy dom so happy dom is kind of like browser environment on node.js as you can see this is just a JavaScript implementation of the web browser, right? With, without a graphic user interface, just kind of like a browser on the Node.js. All right, and also that's the environment we are going to use. And also we need to create the setup.ts file. So let's just copy this right here. And then inside a source, I'm going to create a folder called a test. And then inside that, I create a setup.ts. Okay, and also the include is basically where the code that you want to testing. So in this case, I just want to go to source and then slash any folder and then 
for the name it should be have kind of like everything in here or whatever the name and then it should be have test or spec and then the extension the extension it should be .ts or .tsx okay great that's for the feed.config so now let's move to the setup right here so on the setup basically uh, we just running after each cleanup this is basically will run after the testing done right so each testing will just clean up with this function right here so of course we need to install this dependency right here so we need to do npm install as a dev dependency and also because we're using a uh, happy dom on the feed config right here we also need to install that as a dev dependency right here so let's hit enter so now let's testing the app component right here so inside a test folder i'm going to create a file called let's do app.test.tsx right this is just specific testing for this app component that's why I create app.test.tsx. So first we need to import the describe it and expectation. I'm going to, it's kind of like grouping. So let's say describe, and then I'm going to give a name, let's say app component. And then after that, just run this callback function. And then inside the callback function, I'm going to create it function in here. So this is just for specific like maybe function or heading one heading two whatever you want to do right so in this case i'm going to say should render the app title in heading one so basically i like to create a um, unit test to just testing this heading one right here i like to the title it should be this one if someone else changes that title it should be through an error right so this is the title and then inside that we need to run the callback and then now we need to render the app component in here so we need to use testing library slash react to do that right so we need to render the app so if you want to see your component in here you can say screen right dot screen is basically come from the testing library so let's just import that right here let's say screen like that i'm gonna say screen dot debug this is basically just to kind of show the component on the terminal so we can say npm run test all right as you can see down here it this is basically all you see on the app.tsx component we have heading one and then some uh, div right here this to the list right so now we need to get this heading one basically uh, let's see where's the the heading one right here right with data test id title we need to get that title so the way we do that, it's pretty simple. So we can say create variable called heading screen dot get by test ID because as you can see, we create a test ID right here, data test ID title. So that's why we can get that ID right here with a value title. So now down here, I'm going to add expectation. So let's say expectation for the heading. So let's say expectation for the heading. I'm going to say, as you can see, there's a lot of things right here. Uh, I'm going to use to be in a document. So as you can see now, there is no function that I need. So that's why we need to install some other package. npm install as a dev dependency testing dash library slash js dom. So after that, we need to import that package on the settings. So let's copy the name and then go back to setup right here, right? Let's just import it. So let's say import and then just paste that name just like this so now if i go back to app.test as you can see if i say dot so now i should find the to be in document all right so let's just do that and also i have another expectation in here i want to make sure the heading it should be half text content this string right here right the text it should be react testing demo so let's try to do npm run test it say expect is not defined all right, so the reason why we get this error because on the setup.ts right here, we need to specify, we need to import the JS DOM specific for the feed test, right? So now everything should be clean. Nice. So let's just close um, all the tests package right here. So now as you can see on the terminal, should render the app title within heading one is space, right? If I change the title, for example, something else in here, let's say hello. If I save, now as you can see, we get and failed, right? The title, it should be matched with these rules right here, React Testing Demo. 
and also I'm going to make sure the heading it should be have a heading one so we can use expect heading tag name to be heading one if someone or you on the futures maybe change the heading one to use heading two of course now you get an error as you can see down here expectation heading one but receive heading two right just as simple as that all right so now let's testing our uh, to-do list right here i'm gonna close the app so now let's create a file for testing to-do list component so let's do to-do list.test.tsx so again in here i'm going to import first the let me open the example here i'm going to import all the describe it and expect from the fit test let's do on the top right here and then uh, let's do i'm going to just copy everything here to make it simple right so because we are going to create a lot of it right here to just testing for the specific function and etc i want to render the app right here on the top just still inside the test script uh, function but outside the it right so we need to also import the render from the testing library slash react and also instead of app we need to use a to-do list component in here and also i'm going to change this to to-do list component like that so first i'm going to set the title into should render the to-do list with initial empty state because in the first time of course the state it should be empty when you refresh the browser the state it should be empty right so we need to check that right here all right so i'm going to call I'll just remove everything here so now let's think about the expectation that we need so let's see on the uh, to-do list component i'm going to check the list right here that we set the data test id to to-do list so when the to-dos have a values of course you all have a children right so that's what i'm going to test so in here the first thing is we need to get the ul right here so let's grab that so we can grab that by use screen come from the testing library and then we get by id to do this and then now we expect the to do list should be on the document and also i'm going to have expectation that to do list dot children it should be have a length zero that means there is no to do on the screen right so now let's go back right here as you can see the to-do list component should render the to-do list with initial empty state is paste, right? For example, I'm going to add one object right here, right? Call ID1 and the text is learn react, the completed it's false. I'm going to run it on the other terminal here, npm run dev. And as you can see, by default, when I refresh the browser, learn react is rendered, right? So that's why in here we get an error because expectation is a zero, but we receive one element on the children right here. So now I just want to remove this one and then let's try to testing other things. Let's go back to to-do list.test right here. And then I'm going to add another it. All right, so now let's add another uh, testing. So now I'm going to test the should add new to-do when input is filled and add button is clicked. That means if I click this button right here, it should be rendered that data on the list. First, of course, we need to get the input and also the button, right? So let's see on the component right here, the input that have this data test to do input and also the button have data test add to do button. So anyway, the value here is whatever you want, right? So let's go back and I'm going to get that value, right? We get that input and we get the add button as well. So now we are going to use a fair event in order to change something on the input field or click button or whatever on the browser, right? So in this case, I'm going to change the input value into the new to do item. This is the same like you typing on the input field like this, right? And also I'm going to click that add button right here using fair event dot click nice i just want to paste this await right here right the wait for is going to become from the testing library because we're using await of course this function it should be async function like this and then as you can see this is basically will wait until we click the button right as you can see i just get the to do list again like we're doing on the top right here and then we just have expectation that the children it should be one right because we click the button right here, of course, we have new to do right here, 
and then just the to do is just one to do and also down here as you can see i get the new to do item using the screen dot get by text because new to do item it should be rendered down here right it's just like down here and then we get that value using get by text and then we just make sure that should be rendered on the document and then now we have expectation for the input it should be an empty right now as you can see the input is empty that's basically the flow when we add new to do i hope you're not confused right so now let's save that and hopefully now everything should be based but we get an error right here it say uh, let me see what we get in wrong basically we cannot get the to do input so let me take a look right here um what we're doing wrong right so i believe it's uh get an error because the render is on the top right here okay you can do like this i believe it's going to be works all right but again also you can use uh before it's i believe i'm going to just putting that right here before it's going to come from the vtes and if i using this now it just works right as you can see down here everything is base nice all right so i think that's it guys for the unit test because there's a lot of topic when you want to learn unit tests for example coverage as you can see right here you can check the percent of the unit test on your code right the view is going to be like this and also there's a fit test ui you can check the um unit test on the browser not on the terminal and there's a lot of things right but i'm not going to cover all of that because that's need a lot of time and also need a lot of work to learn that and i think that's it as long as you understand what is unit test and why that's important so i think that's it so thank you so much for watching guys see you on the next one